Hey guys, Ryan here, and welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft survival. In the last episode, we built up this sheep pen and also went on a hunt for some heads, which I've got quite a few more of now, so that's pretty cool. But that was basically all we did last episode because I had just put the data pack onto this world and I was very excited about it. So. Yes, I have been collecting heads off camera, and also, yes, I am not wearing boots. They broke. It was my spare pair. It wasn't my main pair. Like I said in the last episode, I'm waiting for the never update so I can put soul speed on my boots before I actually finish making my boots. So, waiting for that. So, for now, we are just got no shoes on. I mean, we've got shoes on, but, like, not shoes that will actually help protect our feet or anything like that but that doesn't matter because in this episode today we are going to be working on an orcish leather worker shop and the idea behind that is this is going to be where they make all the saddles for their horses and how they make all of their tunics and their clothes and things like that so that's what we're going to be doing today so i don't know where i'm going to build this Exactly, I didn't really think this far ahead. I mean, I've worked out the entire build in a creative world. But other than that, I have no idea what to do other than that. But also, I want to try and get this area a little bit more organized. I mean, I made a little to-do board here. Um, as you can see, these are the things that I have planned to build. I also want to make a little bridge, so I guess we could add that on here. Um, I want it to be a bone bridge, because I think that could look pretty cool, so that's the idea I have for that, but as you can see, the armourer slash leather worker, so we're going to do the leather worker today, but I do still want to do an armourer as well, so that'll be two different things, more huts for people to live in, with both one floor and two floor, I have two floors, I guess, I have an idea for, a rib cage, like, I don't know, maybe we have a dragon, but then that's where I want to put the dragon egg, because I mentioned I wanted the dragon egg in the orcish area, so that's what that's going to be. A skull house, like, for the chieftain, so, the or the chieftain, I don't know, whatever, you, however you pronounce it, for basically the leader of the orcs, is going to live in the skull of some kind of mob, not sure exactly what yet, I was thinking maybe a creeper, maybe a slime, not too sure yet. I'm still figuring that one out, but until then, that's just on the list. Some watchtowers, of course, because they're going to want to keep an eye out for the outside world and the bone bridge, which we just added. And this design I did kind of take from Fwip's video. Um, he's working on his new, like, fantasy seaside village, I think is what it is. And he built this for his to-do board, and I was like, ah, that's cool. Let's just use that, and then this isn't going to be permanent. It's going to be there for now, because I suppose orcs probably wouldn't have that. But then again, they might do, so I'm not too sure. But now we have to try and figure out where we're going to be working in this episode. And also, like I said, I want to do a little bit of layout, I think, because... I have no idea where everything is going to go in this area, because obviously we have all of this, right? We have these so far, but so far I've just put them in these random spots for no reason whatsoever, and there's not actually any reason behind why I put them where they are. So we're going to take this brown concrete powder, because this is going to be where the paths are going to be. So we're going to mark out the paths here, and I want... Oh, sorry, Shrek. Thank you. We're going to put one here, and it's obviously going to come down here. Not there, because mobs will be able to jump there. But like this, and then I guess we can put this one here, like this. So the path is going to go along this way, but then it's also going to go along this way, too. And it's going to be a bit of a... Um, what would you call that? Not overrun path, but sort of like unkept, I guess. But also make it so that it looks like it's frequently used. I don't want it to look too tidy, I guess. Like all uniform. That's not what I want because that's not what I'm going for here. But I think we could then have a path leading off this way. Because the goal is 
to have a bunch of huts on like bone stilts coming out of the water here and that's where the main living area or areas is going to be so there's going to be like a bunch of maybe there's fishing huts or something like that is the idea for that area so path's going to be going off this way i just want to work this all out i did plant some jungle trees as well because we're going to be needing a lot more jungle wood for all these roofs of houses and we do have quite a bit not in there in the chest behind here because we ran out of storage so yes we've got a lot of jungle logs because it's basically all we've used it for and depending on how green the warped wood is the warped planks in the never update we might be changing these roofs to that wood type and then we can revert jungle back to its normal color I'm not too sure yet but we'll figure that out when the time comes but anyway since we've got a lever worker, that does mean that we're going to need an area for cows as well. But I think what we could do is I'm trying to figure this out because I feel like you wouldn't necessarily keep animals where you'd keep the blacksmith. Like, I think this is far enough away, so then we wouldn't keep animals over here. But there's going to be another pathway that sort of goes down between these two areas here and then there's probably going to be something over here and yes we've ran out of concrete powder but that's fine because we can use podzol to mark it out instead because this is going to be the main block we're using for the walkways so i know we haven't actually done any actual building yet but it's just marking this all out i want to add in some like tide pools and and that kind of thing down here also inspired by Flip's videos, but also because I think they just look quite cool down here. You know, it's just a little river, so maybe it wouldn't make the most sense, but I think I think it could look quite cool. But yeah, so the cows, I feel like all the animals should kind of be in a similar area, but then you'd also want the lever worker to be near the cow pen. So maybe what we can do is if we bring the path out this way, like this, um, maybe what we can do is have, maybe we can have the lever worker here and the cows here, maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see how this looks. We're going to have to dig most of this out, and I know it's quite loud. I apologize for that. Maybe I should turn my sound down a little bit because, oh no, it's already turned down. Okay. Um, where's blocks? Let's turn that down to 45 so it's not as loud. Okay, that's much, much better. But my inventory is full, so that's great. We should probably <laughs> empty that. It's because I was getting all the blocks we need for this build, and I just filled my inventory. So we're going to throw everything that we don't need on us right now away in this chest, which is most of the stuff, to be completely honest. We don't need this or this or this or any of this, or this, or these. Okay, so that should be good for now. So, yeah, I think I kind of want them to be fairly close together. If I can remember to do so, I will put an image on the screen of what I'm taking the most inspiration from. It's just an image I found on Google, and I'm not sure exactly where it originates from or who made the image or who whose art it is but when i looked up orcish village on google it was one of the first ones that came up and it instantly caught my attention just because of how interesting it looked and that's what i'm taking a lot of inspiration from so if i can remember i'll put that image in now so hopefully I remembered to do that. And as you can see, it's very, very cool. You can see the orcs running around. I suppose they also kind of look like goblins, but it was listed as orcs. So, I mean, orcs come in very different shapes and sizes, to be fair. There's so many different types of them. There's the big, like, brutish looking ones. And then there's actually quite a few that are quite, like, slender, which is quite interesting as well. So, for this area, we're going for like a mix of the two, and you can see from the image, hopefully, I mean, I hope I'm not talking about it and I forgot to do it, I'm going to make sure I actually do it, so that I don't sound like a complete weirdo right now. But, you can see from the image that, um, it's basically, 
like the orcs are like a blue-ish skin tone you can see in the image and you can see um in the bottom right i believe it is there's like a young orc running around with like a skull <laughs> on his head like wearing it as a mask and you can see what i mean about the bone pillars being like the main foundations of the um builds and that's the kind of that's the idea i want to go for with this area so that's basically what i'm taking a lot of inspiration from for for this this area actually so yeah i just thought it was pretty cool that i saw it and i was like yes that that is exactly what i want in this world so it's also going to become night very soon but we do need to terraform this area a little bit more which is a little bit awkward because of all of these random water areas i also um brought this little pond up i know i mentioned i would so i brought this up um the lily pad is in the exact same place it was it's the exact same shape as well just a little bit more refined it kind of looks like an off shape love heart so i mean that's pretty cool I also added in these um, cattail designs, which I mentioned last episode, also from FWIP. I'm taking a lot of inspiration from FWIP, it seems, but anyway, I think they look pretty cool. Um, there's also another way I do them, but we this area is not what I'm going to use those for. It's going to be the main area over there that I'm going to use that design for, so I think for now that works. We're going to sleep real quick so we don't get any more mobs, because that was just a bad idea last episode and I'm not going to do that ever again so yeah we just need to terraform this area out a little bit and I think this should be good because it goes like this and then we can go like this and then I think this should be this area done and then we can bring this there like that and this is where the path can go down a step I guess so we can cut all of this dirt away and I suppose we could probably get rid of this. I don't know why I, like, stuttered then. <laughs> probably. Because that makes sense. But anyway, we can go and um, put away all of this dirt and grass and stuff we've got now as well. Since I don't really want our inventory getting full. Um, the stone can go in there as well. This dirt can go in there as well. So, yes, 12 minutes in. Haven't even started building yet, but it's fine because I'm going to be cutting most of the building out anyway, so it's not really going to matter because I'm going to do what I keep doing and doing like, like, refreshers, I guess. That's not the word I'm looking for, but um, it'll do for the purpose that I'm trying to serve. And let's see, have we got any spruce and oak stairs? I think we do. I think they're on Leonardo, who is in here now. Can't remember if I did that last episode or did it this or but outside of episode. I don't remember. Either way, Leonardo's in here with the sheep now. I did did I clean this area up? No, I didn't. I did cut down a few more trees, I believe. And I'm gonna be working on the custom trees as well. I just need to try and get good at making them first. So that's gonna take a little while. But anyway, I think Yes, I want the level worker to be sort of off over this way. And we're going to go for two oak stairs on this area. Because why not? We haven't done that too much in this area. We've gone for mainly spruce. So we'll go like this. And then this, the path will come up to here. And then the path can come around the sheep pen like this. And maybe off in this direction can be where the um, like rib cage and the skull like living quarters for the chieftain or chieftain i keep saying chieftain and i don't think that's right but it sounds cool <laughs> and i don't know why but yes so the path can come around here and then um if i can get some more pods on the cows can be in this area here so i mean yeah i think that should be about it and um what we're gonna need now is we're going to need some more of this. We're going to need some of this. As Actually, yes, we are. I completely forgot that um, the area is basically entirely made up of wood for the bottom anyway. I thought that it might have been stone for a second there, but obviously it, it's not. 
But anyway, let's see. What else do we need? Most of it's on Leonardo, I think. So, um, anything here that we might need? Not at this current point in time. I don't believe, so I think we should be good for now. Um, Leonardo, what have you got? I think you've got most of our spruce and stuff. Yeah. Okay, we are going to need that too. Okay. So, we might need to make some more materials, but for now, I think we should be good. And we can get the uh, main design down and sorted here. So, we got the three here, but then this is going to be here, and it's going to go out like two, like this. So, we're going with the same same sort of idea, with it being sort of oval-shaped, and then have that, I don't know, like mushroom roof, I guess, but sort of like a short... It's flat mushroom, I guess, because that makes sense in my head. But anyway, we're going to come up like this. We are going to need to make some diorite walls, which is going to work as our bone, but that's fine. Then, this is where this comes in. We need to make... We've got a crafting table, but I moved it. I know I'm very underprepared. I know. Okay, let's work out how many of these I actually need. I need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13... 14, I think. So we'll make 14 of these. I've got another piece of paper with the blueprints on it, if you're wondering what I was then counting. That's what I was then counting. So we're going to turn all of this into spruce planks. We're going to turn all of these into spruce trap doors. And that's not going to be enough. We're going to need more, believe it or not. Spruce, tr just trap doors in general, are so annoying to make because you get two from six planks that's so annoying like you can get more slabs from that than you can from the it's it's annoying and i get that like there's the whole thing that you have to do with it to bang it all together and put in these whatever they are screws or pins or whatever they are but like two two for six planks that's kind of you're kind of you're kind of robbing me there, and that's kind of a little bit annoying, not going to lie. But I also, do I need slabs? I think I need, oh wait, did I not use any slabs around here? I just used stairs and trapdoors. Alright, okay, stairs and trapdoors. Nope, don't drop that, because I don't want to lose that. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's see, what else do we need? We've got... The spruce stairs, we're probably going to need more of those. Um, so we might as well make those. You know what we're going to do? We're going to take this crafting table with us and just place it over here because it's it's easier that way. So we're going to place that there. So for now, we're going to go ahead and take these spruce trap doors and these stairs and s stuff like that, I guess. We can take these as well because it's going to be spruce trap doors on both of these sides as we've done for the rest of the area and then oh a drowned just or a zombie just turned into a drowned not too sure where that was probably underneath us somewhere i don't know but okay so we're gonna go for a trap door here because why not and then we're gonna go for a spruce stair and then an oak stair like so and then what we can do is we're going to move this food and just put um, our planks there. Okay, so then this bit comes out too, like this. So I think what we can do is this and this. Then this is going to be, we should probably do this and then get our diorite out. So then it's going to be like that, and then it's going to go around another two. But what do we want to do here? I think we're going to go for this and then this, because why not? And then this is going to be another one, like so, if I can actually place it. We are going to have to cut down some more trees, it would seem, so that's great. I mean, we can always use the wood, so that's pretty cool. And I will go around and replant these eventually, but right now I'm not overly worried. So let's break all of these. This episode is also going to be a little bit late. All of my videos have been really late recently, and I know that. I apologize for that. But 
for now, I mean, I'm just kind of happy that I've actually been able to get the episodes out no matter what time I've been getting them out. And also, I've been making it my goal to get them out no matter what time they come out. Because I want there to be an episode for you guys every single time I'm meant to upload. So, I've been doing my best to um, do that, really. And we're going to go like this. And we're going to go like this. No, actually, we're going to put the trapdoor in the middle and then we're going to do the stair here but then I want this trap door to be facing not, not on that bottom block but here like so and I think that could look pretty cool and then hopefully this tree will start going away for now and this is not going to be the biggest build but it is going to be the first build in this area that's actually going to have a second story it's not going to be that big but it's going to have a second story, and that's going to be pretty, pretty cool, I think. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to go like this, and we're going to add in this, and then um, maybe another one of those, just like that, because that could look all right. I'm trying to do it random, but then I end up overthinking where everything is getting placed, and then... then I just make patterns, and then I get annoyed by making the patterns, so we're just going to... Just going to place whatever I feel like placing. So we're going to go like this. We're going to place this here. And we're going to place um, this here. Like that as well. I think. And then this is going to be diorite. Like so. Or bone. Wink wink. Um, then this is going to be a trapdoor I think. And a spruce. Actually no it's not. Because... We already did that, so this is going to be an oak plank instead. And then that brings us to this part where it's more diorite. And then a free gap here with more diorite like so. And yes, I still agree that diorite doesn't look the best. But I have to admit, after working with it for this project so far, it's kind of growing on me. Like I wouldn't really use it for much, but it... If you use it with other things and not just by itself, I think it looks okay, actually. So, here we're going to go like this, um, like this, and like this, I think. Or maybe we should do it like this and have this here and this here, like that. Yeah, that'll do the trick. And then it's going to go two here, and then the one which is going to be our diorite bone block although we have actually got actual bone blocks in this build which you'll see how I use those in just a moment and then this is going to be like this and it's going to be this I think no because that's mirroring what I already did um, it's going to be like this and like this okay then we can break this one away going to cut down these vines because they're kind of in the way. Ouch. Don't know why I said ouch. Didn't actually take any damage. It's just the fact that I fell without realizing. So I said ow, but didn't really make sense. But anyway, it's also starting to become night again. <sighs> I've been recording for 20 minutes and it's already been night. What, twice? So we can sleep. We'll bring the bed over there as well because then that way we don't have to keep running around constantly but no me I'm still gonna run around non-stop because I need different blocks from chests that I don't have over here so but this is looking okay so far I think so we're gonna grab that okay and these two because we can always use more saplings and more sticks so then next thing we're gonna go here and then this is gonna be one like so and then I think what I want to do is I want to do this, and where did my trapdoors go? There they went. And, um, like this as well, I think. No, because I did that there. See what I mean? I don't want to make it look too similar, but, I mean, actually, I've got an idea. I'm going to do this here, and then I'm going to, not with the pickaxe, with the axe, do this. That's the first time I've done that for this area, so... Hopefully that looks okay. I'm going to use another, not another trapdoor apparently, but I am going to use this and then this maybe? 
I think. Or maybe, actually. I'm going to do two oak, because that could look pretty cool. And of course, what did I say a minute ago? No, my luck, there's going to be stuff over there that I'm going to have to run over there and constantly keep getting. And what am I doing? Going over here to grab some grass that I left here earlier. Even though I figured I'd probably need it, I still put it in the chest. Just because I need to build this area out just a little bit more. Oh, place that block too. And this one, and all of these ones as well, like so. There we are. Now, this is also going to come out one more, so we probably need to expand it like this. We will expand this side too, but that does mean we have to get rid of these beautiful flowers. They are some of my favourite flowers in the game, actually, so I don't mind gathering them up. And then here, this is kind of boring, I know, but once this is done, I'll cut and then it'll be back once I've finished this entire floor. Don't want to build the bones out of grass blocks, really. Kind of want to use our diorite for that. But then we're going to go here and we're going to go stair and we're going to go with a trapdoor because why not? Okay. So then, now that we've done that, it comes out with a bone block here. Bone block that's not actually bone, I know. And I know I keep pointing that out too, but I'm going to keep pointing it out until it doesn't seem weird to say anymore. So, now that we've got that, we just need to do this area. We can get our diorite out again and build up here. <clears throat> and then once we do this, this is going to be the main like front structure well, the outside, anyway, complete. So we can go like this, and then I want to go like this, and like this, I think. And then here, it's going to be an oak. Um, It's going to be a full spruce block, and then an oak stair. Okay, so this is going to be the size of our orcish leather worker's house, or shop, I guess. So I will... Do a little bit more building and I will be right back once I have got this finished up and do a progress report I guess so see you all then. So I'm back and as you can see I have finished the platform right here. It's a bit all over the place but that's kind of the idea. So I also got some of these because I had to run back home and then a wandering trader spawned so now we have some random heads which for now we're just gonna lay all over the place I guess. It's actually the first time I've got wandering trader llama heads both times and actually just at all I think but wandering trader head spawn or oh, is a hundred percent drop rate I believe so that's pretty cool but anyway finish this platform added in the floor which is going to be the inside of the shop and then I basically ran out of andesite so I had to run back all the way over there, grab the rest of my andesite, and this is all we have left, so I have to hope that I have some down in my mine. I apologize for any background noise you may be able to hear. You know, people are out in the gardens and all that, so if you can hear screaming, that's what that is. But anyway, so we are going to go ahead and we're going to add in all of this stuff. We're going to start with stone, I think. And then just go around and dot all of it around like this, I guess. And you probably notice that this entire area around here is spruce. That's because I have so much spruce and you're not going to be able to see that anyway. But I still want it to be a block, so might as well use the block that I have the most of. So we're going to go like that. And then we can go around with our andesite which is going to go in loads of random different places, obviously, because that's just what I'm doing. Then this can go here, like this, I think. Like this, and maybe like this, there. And then the rest can be cobblestone. I think the majority of these builds are like cobblestone, like the main structure was made of cobblestone, or maybe it was made of stone. And it sort of wore down over time into cobblestone and andesite. Maybe andesite is what it wears down to first. So it starts off as stone. Then it wears down into andesite. And then the andesite wears down into the cobblestone maybe. I don't know. 
But anyway, so this is obviously what we're going with. Basically the same as what we've got going on there. Although we are going to be throwing in a few windows. Where are our iron bars? There they are. So we are going to be throwing in a few windows. I think there's actually only two that are made of... Actually, no, there's three. There's three made of iron bars, and that's it. And I believe that they are right here, like this. And here, like this. And then I think that's all the windows that we've got in this um, bottom part. Anyway, there's one on the top floor as well. But anyway, I think... With that being said, and showing off the progress so far, I'm going to get the bottom floor of this done, and I'll show you once I'm done. And welcome back again. So, as you can see, main bottom structure is now complete. I added in all the texture variation and all that, so it's looking all nice up in here. Now, next thing we need to do is add in the second floor. So I decided in the end to use mostly, um, or not mostly, all slabs and trap doors for this. So I don't think I made enough slabs and trap doors, but hopefully we have enough wood on us to actually make some more. Yeah, we've got 54 spruce planks and 32 logs, so hopefully that should be enough to do what we need to do. But then, here as well, this is where the ladder is going to be. So we do need to jump up like so with all of these ladders and place them upwards. I don't think we actually need this one. So it's just these ones that we need to place like so. And then we can bring the slabs out like that. Yeah, we already did that apparently that I, I just completely forgot about. And there, perfect amount of slabs now question is do we have enough trap doors probably not and if we don't we'll just make some more so i want all the trap doors facing the same way so they can all open the same way not that we're actually ever going to need to open them but just so that we can if we need to so how many is this going to be one two three four five six seven eight nine so i need nine spruce trap doors we can only make it in even numbers, but that's fine. We'll make 18 because why not? We're going to need them in the future anyway, so we might as well. A future investment, since we know we're going to need them. Um, not that one, thank you. Give me that back. Thank you very much. And there we go. This is the bottom floor complete now. And then if we make our way up here, this is going to be where the second floor is. And I believe I made this just a square I think I don't remember exactly hold on something isn't right and I think I remember what it is did I use a slab yes I did so we need another spruce slab as well I just realized so we might as well make all of these into spruce planks because why not We'll do that, and we've got one stair on us, which is exactly what we need as well. Because I remember, you can see the bone block from underneath here, so we're going to need to remove these two trapdoors, okay. And then this is going to be um, spruce stair, like that, I think. And then this, I believe, was a full block? Or was it the other way around? It might have been the other way around. I made slabs, and I just realized that I don't think I actually need them. I think that's what it was. I'm not 100% sure. I'll check that out in just a moment to see if that's actually not right. But one, two, three, four. So we need four barrels as well. And we didn't make any of those, so we do need four of those. We can only make three. Um, so that does mean we're going to need to make some more slabs which is fine because like i said always going to need them for the next few builds anyway so then we can go and grab another barrel this does just mean that we can break another slab we've got another slab back and we can build up like so with the barrels this works as storage but also it kind of just looks like a support as well for the structure so i believe what i did up here was i brought it out so that it was all the same size, and then I think 
I did it like this so that the corners weren't on, not only to save materials, but also to, um, I don't know, add more curve to the roof when I make it, I guess. I think that's what I did anyway. So, yes, this is going to be that. And then we've got our jungle planks right here. We need to make some more slabs, but that's fine because we have plenty of jungle wood. I'm pretty sure it's in here, so I'm not even going to try to look in that one. There we go. Awesome. I'm going to... Am I going to sneeze? I don't think I'm going to sneeze. I felt like I was going to sneeze, but then I didn't. So, now we can take these as well. I completely forgot that we add in the stairs as well into the mix. But we're going to um, make half a stack of these, or not half a stack, but half a stack, stack of logs into, um, what do we need? We need slabs, we're going to need a bunch of those, and we're probably going to need a few stairs too, because we use those and add in just a little bit of um, variation into the roof, but that should be fine, I think. So now we can climb back up, we can shut that door, we can climb up here and then we can go around with our jungle slabs but I suppose what we can do is we can add in the variation as we go because that'll save us a job later on so we're just going to go like this this can be like this we also need to add it underneath as well so I'll do that in just a moment I think maybe add one like this and then because this is the thing, these are going to be full blocks, right? I think they're going to be full blocks, so we go around the outside like so with all of those. And then the rest we'll sort out in just a moment. But this is going to be like this, all the way around like that. So this is going to be the roof, and then the this is where the bone block bit comes out like so for the second floor it kind of looks sort of asian themed i guess or asian styled just because of the way the roof is done for this but it doesn't have like the overhangs i guess i don't know if that's actually the right term for what i'm talking about the bits that like hang off the roof i don't know what those are called in like asian and japanese builds i don't know but anyway, we could come up with these bone blocks, like so. These are actual bone blocks, not diorite pretending to be bone blocks. So, yes, um, let's see. Now, let's finish up this roof. Okay, so this can be um, just a normal slab. This can be a stair. This can be a slab and a slab. And we're going to use another stair and a slab. And I know it's going to be a lot of me saying a stone, or not a stone, a slab and a stair and a stair and a sl slab. And a, that's, that's a tongue twister. You guys should try that. That was actually surprisingly difficult to say. <laughs> try saying that. Stone slab, um, stairs and slabs and stairs and slabs and stairs and slabs and stairs and... Sl yeah, I give up. I give up on trying to do that. So, where were we? Okay. So we could probably, if we can get my axe back, if we could turn that into a stair. We can do this like this. We can add in a slab there and more. We can add in a stair here as well and then slabs and plenty more slabs like so. Okay, so I think we're good for that bit. <clears throat> but then this is going to be like this and then it's going to, oh, don't want to open that. This is going to be like this. So half of this we're not actually going to see, but um, I wanted to add it in there because you're going to see it from underneath. So still need to add it in, and we've got plenty of jungle wood for now anyway. Need to cut these trees down as well, and then we'll have even more. But that's fine. We're going to bring these up like this. And then over on the other side, add in a slab like that. And then um, don't want to do that quite yet because I'll get confused as to what has to go where. And we'll go like this, and then like this, and like this. And then we can come in with these ones that go all the way along like that. And yes, we are going to be interior decorating in this episode as well, so <laughs> get excited for that, I suppose. 
Um, now we need some more slabs, I think. Yes, so we can add in like a slab here, maybe some slabs there. Oh, ouch! I fell. Didn't mean to do that. Um, what can we'll build up with some bone blocks because why not? Although it is starting to become night, so we're probably gonna have to sleep soon anyway. But that should be fine. Where did I? Okay. So I want to make this into a stair, and then this can be a slab, and then this can be a stair. Actually, we're going to do that, and then this can be like that, and then we can add in maybe one there. Like that, just to make it a little bit roughed up, I think. Um, Let's see. We don't really need any more there. We can add in two here, maybe? And then one here, followed by a stair like this, maybe. And then we can add in a stair here too. Gonna sleep real quick before any mobs start spawning. Missed the bed, but didn't take damage. But that happens sometimes, and I don't understand that. I fall off things, and I don't take damage, and it just confuses me, to be completely honest. Because it makes the sound like you're gonna take damage, so then it just makes me think maybe I'm lagging, but... I'm not. I just didn't take damage. It, it's confusing sometimes. Okay, let's see what we've got going on here. Maybe we can add in another slab there. Um, and maybe another... No, we don't need another slab, I think. I think that should be good. Then maybe we can add in um, a slab here, maybe? And a slab here. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, so now that... Ouch. Now that that's done... We can go ahead and add in some stairs down here. We are nearly out of stairs, so we'll have to make some more, but that's fine. I thought I just had a spider, but maybe I didn't. I did kill one over there earlier, but I don't know. Maybe that's its ghost coming after me or something like that. You never know, I guess. Let's turn these into planks as well and then make even more stairs. Turns out we need quite a few of those. Here we are. I have been recording for just over an hour now, so this episode won't be an hour long, but it will probably be pretty long by the sounds of it. Why am I going indoors? I don't need to do that. Also, I wanted to mention, I know it's different series and I probably shouldn't be mentioning it in this world, but um, Universe SMP. I am still playing on it, I know the episodes aren't that frequently, it's because I'm focusing on loads of other things at the same time. I have still been going on the server, although I haven't been on it in a day or two, I think. But me and Dylan are starting to work on our mega base, so that's going to be taking some time. We did decide on a Tuscan Palace, so yeah, that's going to take us a while. We've got most of the materials, we've started working on the layout, so... We will be recording an episode this week, and it will be uploaded at some point. Maybe tomorrow, maybe Thursday. Not entirely sure quite yet. I also know I missed an episode of this on um, Friday. It's because I was going to make this, but I hadn't like worked out what I wanted to do yet. So I just didn't upload in the end, which is kind of annoying on my part not only for me but for you guys as well so i apologize for that but i mean we've got an episode now i might have to make this series once a week i'll still try and do it twice a week but it might just have to be once a week if i'm focusing on universe smp and crafting dead and fear the crafting dead as well speaking of crafting dead very sad episode this week if you haven't seen it go and check it out we did have to say goodbye to a character that's been in the series since, I think, like, season four or five, actually. So, a long time, basically. And it was a very difficult decision for me to make, um, obviously, since it's a character I cared so much about. But um, with everything that's going on over in that series, and with what's going on with all the characters, and everyone really in that series it was kind of sadly a necessary step in the story which is kind of sad to say and it's been a long time coming every time something bad has happened to a character I've always been like 
Oh, I can't, I can't do that to him. I can't, I can't let go of him, you know? And I think it was, it was finally time. And also, it's worth mentioning that he absolutely will not be forgotten. That is one thing I am going to say. He will not be forgotten, trust me. Okay? Trust me. He's still going to be in the series, just not as him, I guess. That doesn't make sense. He's still going to be a part of the story, obviously, because he was a big start, big part of the story. But he's not going to be in it, obviously, because well, he's dead. So I just figured that was something interesting for me to say. And I'm going to have to pop into my creative world real quick to see what I actually did for this roof. So I'll be right back once I've figured that out. And we're back for the final time because this place is basically done now. All we need to do is decorate the inside and that's it. Then it's complete. So with being recording for nearly an hour and 20 minutes, we can finally work on the inside. So this is where things are going to be very interesting. I do want to be careful going up here because I didn't light it up. Okay. Question is, I think we're going to need an iron bar to hang that down. Like I said, when chains come, I will make that a chain instead of an iron bar. But for now, it's what we have to work with. But anyway, let's work on what we can do right now. Um, since this is a leather worker and they do work on leather clothes, we've got a full set of leather armor, which is courtesy of our skeleton farm. So we will place the iron, um, not the iron, the armor stand inside of this cauldron, like so, just to um, show off the armor and the clothes that this leather worker made a fine job of making not on my feet okay and I had an image in my head don't know why but that this is a mother and son run leather shop don't know why I just had that in my head don't know why young boy and a mum and that's it that, that that's literally the idea I had so we're just going to go with it. So we're going to take a crafting table because we need that as well. Crafting table is going to be right here, I believe. Okay. And now, let's see. What have we got on us? We've got the loom, which I don't remember exactly which way I had this. But for now, I think it should be fine like that. We do need brown wool, but we haven't got any on us right now. Up here, we're actually going to have a bed that is going to be using smokers because the border on them looks pretty cool, as you can see. So like a wooden frame. They do sleep on stone because apparently that's comfortable for them. Don't know why. Don't ask me. There, It's their decision. It, it's not I made it, but still, it's their decision. Okay. Um, next thing we need is we need some dark oak wood and we need some stone bricks and cracked stone bricks, which we have still got some left over of. Three stone bricks and seven cracked stone bricks. We need, we need four of these, we need two of these, and we need all of this brown carpet and brown wool as well. Dark oak, we need that. We need this. Our inventory is full. We don't need the ladders anymore. We don't need... We don't need the ender chest on us right now, so we'll just take this. And anything else. This spare bucket we'll put in there for now, because we do need that water bucket. I think that should be everything we need for now. Okay. So let's get moving again, I guess. Okay. So, when we come in here, I've got it written down what I want to have. I believe... That it's going to go, I'm um, not spruce trapdoor, I need a dark oak trapdoor. Dark oak trapdoor here, then followed by a dark oak slab like that. And then there's going to be a flower pot on this trapdoor with a mushroom in it. I'm going to have to gather that up, but that should be fine. Then, directly in front of um, this, there's going to be a little bit of a table where they work on their leather and stuff, I guess. 
So, I don't really know what they do with leather. I mean, I guess they dye it and they, I don't know, dry it? I don't know. What do they do? I'd have to do some research on that, but I know um, we're going to add in some cauldrons here. We're going to put water in this one because the water's green in the swamp and the idea was to make it look so it's kind of like green, like a dye liquid. So they put the leather in there to turn it green because I'd imagine that their clothes are oftentimes green. We're going to put a trapdoor on it so people don't just go drinking it thinking it's water. I don't know, they probably won't do that, but we're just going to cover it up with that trapdoor anyway. So this is meant to be like green dye, so they put the armor in and boom, it's green. And horse armor as well, which I would have included in here, but putting it in an item frame makes it seem too small. Like, yeah, that thing will fit on a horse. I know the saddle technically is the same situation, but don't worry about that, okay? <laughs> that really doesn't make sense now that I think about it. But anyway, it's fine. When did I make a button? Okay, we'll just put that... Uh, 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 I'm confused. There was a button there, right? You guys saw that? I'm not going crazy? I'm probably going crazy, wouldn't surprise me. But anyway, let's put this here and this here. I believe that there is a torch here, maybe? I don't remember exactly where. But I do know that there is a lantern on one of these, maybe here, I think. I think that's what it was, because I was making sure that the light levels are high enough for nothing to spawn. And I believe they are, so we should be alright. This is going to be brown wool. Then we're going to have carpet on here, like that. And then I believe that there's just going to be some more... We might as well turn this all into carpet because we need carpet for the upstairs as well. So that's going to be leather. It's meant to be leather, like coming off, and that's like where they stretch it out, I guess. But then we need... Ah! Trapdoors. We need more trapdoors. And we also need some fences, which is fine. We'll make some sticks. We need some dark oak fences. But let's make these um, trapdoors first. That's not enough, we need one more of those, so we're just going to have to make these into planks, like so. We need that, and then we need a fence. We only need one, so we should be okay. And that's going to go here, like so, and then the trap doors are going to come along like this. And then, um, what did I do? I think, ah, I think I went, how did I do this? I don't know, I'm pretty sure we had a painting there, or an item frame there, an item frame there, and an item frame here, and then the trapdoor went there, there and there. I think that's what I did. Yeah, that looks about right. Then this is going to go there, this is going to go there, but hanging upside down, and then this is going to be where our saddle goes, like so. And let's just keep it the normal way, there we go. So that's a little shelf where they dry the leather after they do whatever they do with it and this is where they've got a saddle as well that they're working on um what else do we need we should go upstairs and put this carpet on the bed to make it look like they got a nice little sheet on there from their sheep you know and then there's going to be a carpet up here but i don't remember the exact design i went with it was something like this, but it might have been like that. I don't know. That'll do for now. I'll figure it out off camera because I've got it in the creative world. So I'll just hop over there. But we do need two chests as well. And they go at the end of the bed. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I did this in the creative world as well because I messed that bit, <laughs> that exact same bit up. And then I believe that this was actually just like this. Yeah, no, that's not right. It was probably like, it wasn't like this. I know that it wasn't like this. It was slabs. But for now, that'll do the trick. And then I wanted to put the cow head on here because obviously it's a level worker. So it makes sense to have the cow head in here. And I think, unless I'm forgetting anything, I think this might be done. Yeah, I think we're done. Um, What about over here? It's seven light levels, so there must have been an area over here where I had a lantern. Maybe 
Ah, yes, I remember. Because I did this, and I broke this, because you can't see that on the outside, and I hung a lantern there, which makes it so that no mobs can spawn in this corner, and in these corners as well. So, yeah, that's what I did. Right, I remember now. We do probably need to make another um, dark oak slab, but I think we should be fine. going to go ahead and grab an iron bar before we head off so I can lower that lantern so that mobs can't spawn up there. Where did I put those? I think it's in the other chest, but is there any mushrooms in here? don't think there is, but let's see. Um, no mushrooms in here from what I can see, so... We'll have to try and find some. We've got plenty in our chests over at home, so we should be okay on that front. But let's grab this, place this, and this. There we go. So that is the lovely living area up here for our two orcs. It's mostly the son that lives up there. The mother works here most of the time, so that's just the idea I had in my head anyway. Gonna sleep before creepers spawn because I hate those guys blowing everything up like that all the time. Typical creepers. But anyway, with that being said, and done, I guess, I believe that's everything for this episode. So if you have enjoyed this episode, make sure you stick around for the next one, which will be out very, very soon. Not sure exactly what I'm gonna be doing next episode. Um, soon we're going to be going to the end, defeating the Ender Dragon and trying to get ourselves an Elytra. So that's going to be exciting, so stay tuned for that. Um, the next episode will be out very, very soon, hopefully Friday, but I'm not entirely sure. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!